Our other form of bone formation, our other type of bone formation is endochondral ossification. And this takes place, we already know that we have to have a con connective tissue model in order to build bone from. And in the case of our intramembranous um, ossification, that is a dense, irregular connective tissue kind of membrane-y thing. In the case of endochondral ossification, you start with a cartilage, hmm, you start with a cartilage, a hyaline cartilage. That says hyaline cartilage model of your bone. Now, endochondral ossification is what happens. It's how your fetus or embryo becomes, um, grows its long bones. So a little fetal humerus is actually made out of hyaline cartilage. And then through the process of endochondral ossification, that hyaline cartilage model is turned into um, compact bone tissue and into the bone organ itself, which contains bone tissue. Okay, did you follow that? Watch and be amazed. This is a bone, is it not? The most fantastic bone you've ever seen, except it's not a bone. It's in the shape of the bone. It's the hyaline cartilage model. And you already know, because you're freaking brilliant, that all cartilage, except for fibrocartilage, is surrounded by dense irregular connective tissue what? What is this called again? It's surrounding hyaline cartilage. So this is a perichondrium. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got it? We've got this hyaline cartilage model that's surrounded by perichondrium because perichondrium is everywhere except around fibrocartilage. Magic starts to happen. Number one, we'll do it like this. The first thing that happens is that uh, cells inside the perichondrium, what kind of cells do you think they are? Mesenchymal cells in perichondrium differentiate, and you would think, oh, they're going to become chondroblasts, and they're going to build cartilage. No, something triggers them to say, you know what, today I'm, I'm in the perichondrium, but I'm going to become an osteoblast. And these guys are inside the perichondrium, okay? And this is all hyaline cartilage. Now, the next thing that happens, they're osteoblasts. What do they build? Bone. So they create a bone calcified collar. And I think of it like here they come, they're producing like a bony collar that is going to surround the perichondrium, right? Because they're just producing this bony collar. Now, this is where, oh, all the pieces like start coming together. This is crazy talk. Here, what do we know about cartilage? What was one of the characteristics that I said in the very beginning about cartilage that makes it unique when compared to other connective tissues? It's avascular. There's no blood flow to this hyaline cartilage model. How, does, how do the chondrocytes in there get food and water? And how do they get rid of their garbage? Diffusion, which is why moist cartilage is healthy cartilage. If you do not have moist cartilage, you do not have water to flow in and out to diffuse nutrients and crap. So all of a sudden, we bust a move and we build these osteoblasts, build this bony collar around this poor, innocent cartilage model. What happens to the hyaline cartilage cells, the chondrocytes, inside? I mean, it's a little bit cold-blooded, really. Do they start to die? Chondrocytes die. And they don't just, like, keel over. They, like, die this slow, painful, chemical 
barfing happening everywhere. They're sending out messages. They're like, dude, we're starving in here. I'm drowning in my own crap. It's all bad. So they start sending out these messages like somebody's got to come to the rescue. Somebody's got to help us. And you know what else is crazy? Because I know you guys do this too. When you start to die, like, you know, I'm sure you do this all the time, they start barfing out concrete. Yeah, maybe they're pooping concrete. They start dying and they start barfing out calcified matrix. Like these chondrocytes just start producing all this calcified crap. They have an oh bad word response and then start dumping calcified poop everywhere. It's getting really messy in there. It's getting all bad. I mean, stress levels are rising. I don't know how they're going to get around this, but let's see what happens next. Dun, 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 dun. Someone is coming to the rescue. Thank goodness. And guess who it is? The periosteal bud. But of course, really? This periosteal bud, which is essentially a little blood vessel, bursts through the calcified cartilage matrix, like, no, it bursts through this collar. That's what I was trying to say. That's why I was here, folks. It bursts through the collar. The periosteal bud bursts through the collar. Do, 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 goes to the rescue. Guess who it's carrying on it? So here comes the periosteal bud, and it literally busts a move. It hears everybody in there. Everybody's in there. Oh, God, we're dying. Oh, so awful. Here comes the periosteal bud. And the periosteal bud is not alone. Osteoblasts are coming along for the ride. That says osteoblast. You know it does. Don't even ask twice. Guess who else is going in? Osteoclasts. Clasts are cleaners and crushers. They're going to go in. They're going to clean up all that crap. They, these guys are pooping out concrete. The osteoclasts are like, I got you, man. I got you. And they go rushing in and start cleaning up. And what osteoblasts do? Do these guys start building bone? Blasts build bone. The class are going to do some cleaning, some remodeling. It's all good, but the blasts are going in to um, clean up. How cool is that? Oh my gosh, it's fantastic. Everywhere in you, by the time you are birthed through your glorious mother, who you should call right now and thank, you, your long bones have replaced the hyaline cartilage model, except your hyaline cartilage, your bone tissue still grows lengthwise. Do you agree with that? Your long bones better grow longer, and where is the site of growth in a long bone? It's right about here because this is called an epiphyseal plate. And we'll look at that in more detail next time when we talk about bone organs. But I want to look at an epiphyseal plate because this is, you're going to see this process of um, hyaline cartilage turning into bone. We're going to get to see an example of it in some slides where we're looking at an epiphyseal plate. Now, take a deep breath. I'm going to show you what you're going to identify in your lab, which is right about here. One slide right there, and there's, oh, right there at the end. And there's a lot of stuff that we're going to see in that slide, and we're going to identify a lot of areas. If you look at this and you look at this, you should probably be saying, yeah, those two kinds of tissue look a little different to me. And so let's zoom in here and see if we can identify what kind of tissue this is. Do you have it? 
dude. This is hyaline cartilage. And if you think about it, this is a long bone, and this is where the joint is. So I told you that hyaline cartilage covers the ends of long bones, and that is, that's so that we don't have um, friction in our joints. Now, I told you that we, you can imagine that we started out with a hyaline cartilage model. And we're actually going to turn this hyaline cartilage model into bone tissue. So how are we going to do it? Well, we're taking the long route down to, oh, here we are. I need to back up. Back up out of here. Let's get a little farther away. But you agree, yes, that this is hyaline cartilage, and it looks totally normal, grape soda. Look at what happens. The, like, it starts looking different, does it not? Hyaline cartilage normal, hyaline cartilage not looking so normal. These are your zones of proliferation in the process of going from cartilage to bone. And, and it's all um, part of this endochondral bone formation. So on your list, I've got a list in your lecture notes. I've got a list of the events that take place here. The first thing that happens, I mean, you've got this resting cartilage, right? And then the calcification happens around the collar. And this is where those cartilage cells start going, oh, crap, and they start pooping out the calcified cartilage. But they do something else that all critters do, except for us, really. But maybe you could argue we do it too, but I don't think so. When you're about to die, a lot of critters decide, I better make babies now. And so they, like, start busting out baby making. Really? Yeah. And so, look, you had one cell inside each lama, uh, lacuna, and they get shut off from the outside by that bony collar, and they start making babies. This is your zone of proliferation. The, when, when the cells look like, wow, they look like they're reproducing like mad, like there's lots of cells inside a single lamella, lacuna, that is the cells saying, we better make some babies because I'm not feeling so hot and for some reason I'm pooping out concrete. Well, things don't get better. They made a whole bunch of babies, but holy what? Do these look different? They do. They like kind of, they spread out. They get really big. This is the zone of hypertrophy. This is the zone of proliferation. The zone of resting cartilage is where they look normal. The zone of hypertrophy, the, the lacuna get really big. There's lots of open, empty space. They're pretty much dying at this stage in the game. The zone of calcification is right under the zone of hypertrophy. So as soon as they're hypertrophying, you know that the next zone is where there's lots, like now they're pooping calcium. They're pooping all this calcification, calcified matrix. But now look, who's being formed? Bone spicules are being formed. And so we're actually forming bone tissue here, which was the whole point in the first place. And so once we get bone tissue right there, see those little trabeculae? And there's my lacuna with my little osteocyte now living inside because when I was up here in this zone of calcification, dun dun dun, paraosteal bud to the rescue. Thank goodness. The chondrocytes, but the osteocytes are now in making the most of this, you know, tragic situation. It's all good. How you doing? Because that wasn't so bad, was it? Do you have it? That's what I thought. Dude, we're done. That was lecture number seven. I'm out of here. Bye-bye.